Ohio State moves to 10-0 and after a big win against Michigan State. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Slasher U. I'm your host, Christian Rao, here with my co-host, Steve Feck. And we're going to break down the number three team in the country, Ohio State, defeating Michigan State, 74-68. to And again, Ohio State moving to 10-0 and on this one. Really no surprise. This team is looking very good. Since the beginning of the season, Steve, they've got big wins against Tennessee, big wins against Louisville, and now another big win in the Big Ten against Michigan State. I really like what I see from this team in Ohio State, and I'm going to pass it over to you, your thoughts on this one. And what I want to ask you is we see a number three next to their name. This is a mm-hmm. behind a team like South Carolina, behind a team like Stanford, and just in front of their Big Ten counterpart, Indiana. You know, Obviously, all of them with the exception of Stanford, still undefeated. Does this team have what it takes to be able to keep up with teams like South Carolina, Stanford, and the rest of the field? Oh, I, I, absolutely. I mean, I absolutely love to watch this team play. And having watched this game, I'm even willing to go up to number two. Mm-hmm. And I, I think Ohio State, the way they're playing right now, might be the second best team in the country. I, I mean, you know, they, you know, they that they play their big players a lot. I mean, they had three players play 40 minutes in this one. So, so maybe I guess you can say, well, you know, are they depending too much on, you know, on their best players? What that's why you have, that's why you recruit the best players. Right. I mean, you could, you need to depend on them, especially once you get in the conference play and it's not, you know, Michigan state's no pushover. I mean, I wouldn't say Michigan state is uh worthy of a, of a ranking of a number next to their name right now. But I mean, oh, I mean, but, I mean, they always play tough and, but Ohio state is, they're so athletic, you know, and I really like their roster. Uh, Ma- I love Madison green. I mean, Madison green, yeah. you know, she had 15 points, you know, she wasn't the leading scorer, but I really love to watch Madison Green. She has a complete game. She's a complete player. She's, you know, it's it's like watching a clinic. You know, if you're going to do a clinic, for, you know, for young women basketball players, you want to have a segment on Madison Green because she just does everything right, in my opinion. Yeah, I really like this Ohio State team, and I I agree with you. I think they can definitely run with teams like Stanford, like Indiana. I don't know if anyone is going to be able to run with South Carolina, but we have seen that we have seen them struggle at certain times of the season so far in certain aspects of the game, not the full game in general. So it looks like, you know, anything can happen. Obviously, we know that that happens in, in college basketball all the time. When you look at this team, though, and you look at what's ahead for them, you know, it really doesn't seem like they're going to slow down at all. I'm curious to see if we're going to get now. This is a long shot because they do play some tough teams down the stretch. You'd have to make it all the way for both teams to make it all the way to the end of January. But Indiana and Ohio State both play at the end of January. Now, that's probably that's asking like five or six games for each of those teams to win out. That's that's a long shot, but there is a, a shot that we could see two undefeated teams at the end of January playing against each other. I'm gonna say I, I'm doubtful because that's a you know a very long shot, but something that is very interesting. Now, before I pass it back to you, one thing I have to say about Michigan State here, they started off very strong this year. They won six games straight, and now they have lost five games straight. So that's something to really keep in mind for the Spartans moving forward here. They got to right the ship. And, you know, it shows once they get in the Big Ten play, anything can happen. If you can find a way to get on a hot streak like you did earlier in the season, get rid of this slump that you're in right now, moving into Big Ten play, your season can just turn right around in the way that you need it to. So, um, you know, keep that in mind moving forward for the Michigan State fans here paying attention to this team. They have a lot to, to shine and prove as well. They looked really good for the majority of this game. Ohio State just got the better at, of them uh, really in the second half. Um you know, it just really took off. I mean, the first quarter actually was probably the biggest thing for Ohio State. They came out just running. They already had a 12-point lead once the first quarter was over. Uh, and it really was it, was it the entire time. Uh, so that's just, again, Michigan State only had the lead once in this game. Ohio State had it up by 18 at one point. So there's some issues that need to be solved out by Michigan State so they can get back in these losing or back in these winning ways and away from this losing streak. But this Ohio State team, man, they look real good, Steve. And I would not be surprised to see them, you know, 
being a team that can make it to 20 plus wins before they get a loss. Oh, no. Yeah. I mean, and, and they have a tough schedule. Usually you're the guy that breaks down the schedule, but I, I just had to, after you said, I wonder by the time that they get to the Indiana, would both teams be undefeated? So I was looking at Ohio state's schedule. I mean, they play Albany next, but then they play South Florida and South Florida is not a bad, they're a very athletic, you know, side, but going in New Year's Eve, they play Michigan, but then they play Minnesota, Illinois, Nebraska was ranked at one point. Uh, right before they play Indiana, they play Iowa. Yeah. So, yeah, so, so it, it, it's a rough road for Ohio State. Tough road. You know, but having having watched them from second one to the final second for the first time with this game, I, I can see them coming up against Indiana and, and having – at the most, one loss, but I, it, right. it wouldn't totally shock me if, if they were undefeated when they come up against Indiana. Mm-hmm. And then Indiana is going to have a similar kind of schedule. So, mm-hmm. I mean, so they're both going to get banged around, but that's that's the Big Ten. You yeah, know each I mean? of that's them, the Big Ten. Yeah. Each of them have two ranked opponents currently as we sit right now before they face off each other at the end of January. Uh, regardless if they're both undefeated, would not be surprised if that is a top 10 at the, at the worst, both are still a top 10 matchup. So that should be a really good game. It could be a preview of what we're set to see for maybe the big 10 championship game moving forward. Cause right now they are both showing to be the best two teams in the big 10. Again, anything can happen once we get deep into the season, but just something to keep in mind, let us know your thoughts in the comment description below hit like, and subscribe while you're there. And thanks for always for watching slash review.